Okay, so where we left off was I uh, have two really terrible, very low parts. Uh, vocal one and vocal two. We punched into vocal two, and then I sang it once with the octave up. So first we need a comp of vox one and two. I need my reverb. I'm going to turn off low latency. I'm going to save. Now I've got my reverb. Um, and I guess this is where I'm just going to do this like I would do it normally. And I would just go through and I'd listen and figure out, because what's the first best line? Normally I'd have more than two takes, but we're just going to do this quick and dirty. I need to turn pre-roll off. Command K. Ground control to major tom. <laughs> okay, so that's take one. Uh, Okay, and then we're going to go back to, um, this happens to me sometime, it's, it's called, um, when you, when I stop playing, ground control to major tom, you see where my mouse is staying where it is instead of going back to the same place, this is this thing, it's, it's right here, it's called, ins not there, insertion follows playback, where is it, right there, okay. And what sometimes it just gets turned on, there's a shortcut, and I forget what it is, and I probably just hit it. So I'm going to turn that off. So now when I press play, it's going to go back to the same place every time. So if ever that happens, you're like, what the hell? Why does my mouse stop and not stay at the same place? It's this stupid little thing right here, insertion follows playback. And where that is good, it's, it's good when you're mixing, and we'll get there. But when you're playing back um, in editing, it's a pain in the ass. So just turn right here. Insertion follows playback. Make sure that's not highlighted. All right, so I like the first ground control. To, so I'm going to go to Vox 1. I'm in slip mode. I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go to our Vox low comp, and I'm going to paste. Now I'm going to go to the second major tom. Let's listen to this one. Ground control to major tom. You can hear you know, a little bit, because I don't have a pop screen, you can hear me breathing into the microphone. Let's listen to this one. Ground control to major tom. I think that's better. So I'm going to take that one I'm gonna, in slip mode. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to command C, copy. I'm going to go to the comp, and I'm going to paste. And now I'm going to go back to take one. Here we go. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Okay, so you can hear the breathing thing. Let me listen to this one. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Okay, that'll work. Um, so say I like the word on in this one. You'll also notice that this waveform is smaller. I'm going to take this whole thing, copy it, and I zoomed in, command, bracket. Now I'm going to go to our comp track, and I'm going to paste. And so I want to, it's, it's, sometimes you want the room noise, sometimes you don't. You'll, you'll hear when this drops out. Um. Let me turn my microphone off. Um. Take your protein pills and C put your... C couldn't really... Ah, couldn't really hear it. Okay, so um, but you're, put your helmet on. Let's say we want that from the first take. So let's go to the first take, and I'm going. This is where zooming in is really good. So I'm going to go. Put your helmet. So right there, that's going to be put right. Put your helmet on. So helmet on. Let's say we want that helmet on from take one. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to our comp and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to zoom into this seam right here. I'm going to click right before it, and I'm going to hit Command Bracket to zoom in, and I'm going to be in slip mode, and I'm going to take that little bitty seam right there, and I'm going to crossfade. So now, then put your helmet on. the put is still a little bit um, abrasive, and there's a way to fix that, but I'm not going to get there right now. Also, you'll notice this waveform is bigger than this one, right? You see this little fader right here? I'm going to, first I'm going to delete. I don't really need all that air and space and noise. So I'm going to go right here and then see this little fader. And now this matches this one a little bit more. I can also go in here to this put, because it's going to drive me nuts, um, and put a fade on it if it's really bugging me. Or I can re-sing it, but I'm going to be lazy. So Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. So you see how seamless that is to go from take two into take one? And then let's finish editing this vocal. Let me go to take one here. 
ground control to Major Tom Commencing countdown engines on So I can already hear my timing is, on, is pretty crappy right there. Let me, let's listen from here on take two. Ground control to Major Tom Commencing countdown engines on so, you know, I don't really like any of those. Um, so this is where I might just take what I have the best of, and let's listen to the last one and I'll show you. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. Okay, don't like that one. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. Okay, I'll take that. Commencing countdown engines on. Okay. Ground control to Major Tom. Okay, good enough. All right, this is all good enough except for that middle one. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go to the comp, and I'm going to paste. And this is where I'm just going to punch into this one spot. So I'm going to turn pre-roll on and off, Command K. And what this means is you'll see pre-roll and post-roll. Post-roll means it, before it stops, it's going to play one bar. So I can make that an even bar if I want. Or I can say, you know, I want it to stop. I don't want any post-roll. I can do it like that, or I can do it like that. Um, and I'm just going to punch into this one spot. I've got one bar pre-roll, and this is commencing countdown, because I just didn't like the way I sang it. So I'm going to punch into that one line. Beach of Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. One more time. Beach of Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Still not great. Beach of Tom. I'm just hitting command uh, spacebar over and over, just recording over the same thing. Beach of Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. And you see it stopped because we have zero post roll. Okay, that's good. So save, command S. I'm always command Sing. You'll also notice I always do this too. I it's really important in Pro Tools to stay in time. I've got my click going. I recorded my guitar to the click. I'm recording my vocals to the click. And people say, well, you're working with the click, it makes it all sound sterile. It's not true. It's a grid that you follow, and then when you copy and paste different parts, it lines up because you've been cutting everything to the click. If you, It can be sterile if you edit the crap out of something, but if it's human and you're playing it and you've got a grid to follow, it, it will flow. So it's just also it takes a while to get used to recording to a click. So now we've got our composite low vocal. So now we need the high vocal. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to save, always command Sing. I'm going to go but command equals to go back to this screen. And I'm going to create another new track. Remember, what's our shortcut for a new track? Command Shift N. Okay, boom. All right, and this is going to be the Vox Octave. Okay, I'm just going to call it Vox Oct, and I'll just say one. And I'm just going to do one. Sometimes I'll do a you know a double and pan it left and right, but we're just going to have one octave right here. So I've got this octave track. And now I want it to have some reverb, right? I could go here and say, all right, let's put it on the bus and let's go here. But let me show you a shortcut, which is really great, especially when you're doing vocals. And it's, it works across uh, any of the plugins. If you hold the Option key, and I take this plugin and I drag it, it makes an exact copy. Now, we've got reverb on this track and not hearing it because... I need an input mic one. So I have the microphone, this microphone, physically plugged into input one. There are two inputs on the interface, and this is input one. And you can hear we've got reverb. So we, now we've got this track here. I'm going to go to the edit screen, and I need my octave part. How do I get my octave part? I just go right here. In fact, I should not have named that. I go right here, and I say, OK, what, where is it? Well, I sang it on this track, right? So it's going to be part of this playlist. We know that the octave is Vox 3. Uh, and I can let me go ahead and rename that. All I do is go to Vox 3, and I say make this Vox Oct, and I'll do exclamation point instead of 1 because I already have one down there. I'm going to go back to the comp here for our main track. 
And now, if I go here, I still don't see it. Where is it? Other playlist. I've got all the guitars. I've got all the vocals. So it keeps this kind of bank of all the playlists you've ever cut and puts it into one big giant tub, which is why it's even more important to name, because I know these are my three guitar takes, these are my two low guitar part, or low vocal parts, and this is my octave. Okay? So I know that this song really only needs the octave here, okay? So what if I want to keep these parts just in case I want to use them later, but I, I could do this, I can delete that, and I could go here and highlight that, and now I've got the octave where the song requires it. Or, I'm going to undo that, Command Z. I can also make this its own little region. Here's another really important shortcut you're going to use a lot, Command E. Um, and what that does is it makes this little thing its own region. Uh, so, what's the E? Um, e, what separate region is what the command is, but I'll think of an E here in a minute. So, I want to mute that, right? I'm going to go right here. I could bring this all the way down. No, not going to do that. I'm going to Command M. Watch this. It grays it out. It keeps it there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to hit Command E. Now this is its own separate thing. And I can do anything I want to with it. I can move this. It separates it from this and makes this thing its own little region. I'm going to Command M that. So I've still got those other octave parts, but I'm not going to use them right now. I know they're there. It's better than deleting stuff that I might use. Another way, there's a, th a thousand different ways to do the same thing. So I'm going to undo that and undo that. The other thing I could do is I'm going to name this track Vox Oct All. All right. And now I'm going to duplicate. And then I'm just going to say Vox Oct One. And now on this track, I can go through and delete. So that might be better when you're mixing because you'll know it's parts you're not going to use, but you can always remember, you know what? I like that octave on the, the octave on the first line. So you go with Vox Oct All, you copy there, you go to your Vox Oct One. I don't know what's what now. Uh, let me delete that one. Um, and you paste it into the, I'm in the wrong one. There we go, this one, paste. So I have two things named Vox Oct 1, so which is stupid. So it's always there in a playlist. You can separate it, Command E, and make it its own region, and then Command M to mute it. It's really helpful sometimes to kind of play and figure out what works and what doesn't work. So let's see if this octave works, and then we'll move on to the next video, which is the really, really fun stuff. Um, OK, so I'm going to zoom in, Command Bracket, and I'm going to listen. I'm going to turn off pre-roll, Command K because I want it to start here, not a bar from here. Ground control to Major Tom Take your protein pills and put your helmet on Okay, so it's okay, um, but the protein pills part could be better, right? I'm going to go back to here. So I'm going to recut this. I know I have this backed up into another um, playlist. I'm just going to punch into this one. I'm going to turn pre-roll on, save, always saving. I got one bar, and I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to remember to turn sideways, and I'm going to get the P again. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Okay, and we have zero pre-roll, so I think that'll work if it's a little low. Um, if it's a little low, I can bring it up right here. You see how that increases? So there's a thousand ways to automate the volume. This is a really cool way because you can just match the waveform sizes if you want something to be louder, obviously too loud, or lower. Um, I'm just grabbing this little bitty fader right here. 11 dB might be a little bit much. Um, let's listen. I'm going to Command K, turn pre-roll off. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Okay. All right, so there we go. We've got that. And this is where I'd probably reference the original song. I'd go over here. And in Safari, I have two tabs. I've got one with the lyrics and the chords. And then here is David Bowie doing it. Let's see what he's doing. Let's see. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. 
There's the octave. Ten. Nine. Okay. All right, so we have to do the countdown, which comes in uh, here. So we're going to create a new track, Command-Shift-N, Mono Audio Track. I'm going to go to the mix screen because I always think it's easier, and I'm going to call this the count. i got to put it into input 1. I know it needs a little reverb, so I may as well just hold the Option key and drag this over here. Now I'm going to switch tracks, and now I'm over here at the countdown. Okay, I'm going to save. I'm going to go back to the edit screen. And I know the countdown starts here. I'm going to turn pre-roll back on, Command-K. You can see how it's really important, Command-Equal, Command-K, how you get really quick movement between windows and turning pre-roll on and off, and then Command-Spacebar to record. There's no reason I should be going up to all these menus and looking at stuff. And also, you'll get to used to reading the waveforms. I know the lyrics, Ground Control to Major Tom. You'll know that by this blob is ground control to Major Tom. This is ground control to Major Tom again. This is this. This is may God's love be with you. Um, and you'll get you'll know, start knowing by the waveform what you're singing. It'll get there. You'll it'll come naturally eventually the more you use this. So I'm going to start punching in with the countdown. Here we go. Pre-roll. Turn it on. Command K. Pills and put your helmet on. Ground control Nine. to major. Okay, little little delayed there. Let's try it again. Pills and put your helmet on. Ten. Ground control Nine. to major tone. Eight. Seven. Six. Commencing five. Down engines Four. on. Three. Two. Check ignition one. and may God's love be. I don't know if that's the way it goes, but this is also where this part might need a little more reverb, right? So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to, this is, the, this is the send, this is how much of this vocal on this track right here on the countdown, how much of this track do I want to send to the reverb bus station? I want to send a lot of it. So now we've got a lot of reverb, okay? Let's listen to that, and then we'll move on. Pills and put your head. Pre-roll off. Command K. Ten. Ground control Nine. to major tone. Eight. Seven. Six. Okay, it's terrible, but you're kind of getting the gist how to do it and how to create tracks and how to lay, um, layer and how to punch in and how to make playlists. So, with all my reverb, let's go to the next section and we're going to go into something which is one of my favorite things. It's called loop recording.